incredible. I mean, so fresh. It's almost like a slimy water. Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all doing amazing. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here, coming at you from Soul City Farms, right outside of Doral, Miami, Florida, my hometown. I am so excited because today I'm doing ecotourism here in Miami Dade County. You know, I love doing this, going to different farms around the world. And here, I didn't even know this existed. So, this is a small farm that started in 2018. They raised their own chickens, their own beef, and the owner, Mateus, is from Brazil. But because Doral has has the most Venezuelan population outside of Venezuela and my parents were born in Venezuela we're gonna do a Venezuelan barbecue we're gonna go explore the farm we're gonna see the chickens their cows and then we're gonna eat lots of delicious food all right guys let's go inside it's official the US is opening back up but as of now only 50% of American adults are fully vaccinated we need at least 70% to reach herd immunity we can't afford to let dangerous variations continue to mutate the only way to prevent that is to get vaccinated. So please, let's think about one another and be safe together. Yo! How you doing? How you doing, dude? Everything good? Good, man. Rock and roll? Awesome, man. Let's do it. <laughs> let's eat some meat. Let's eat some meat. So what are we gonna do today? Barbecue, we're gonna explore. Chickens, we're gonna get some eggs, we're gonna cook up some beef, we're gonna move the cows, we're gonna do everything that we do every day here at Soul City Farm. A self-serve pickup stand. When you order online, you can say, I wanna pick it up at the farm. So we come here, we stock these coolers, and you, we send you a one-time code. So you'll come here, you open the code, and you'll pick up your order. So on Saturdays, you can come here and pick your own eggs. The barbecue is a different type of experience they're doing for me exclusively. This is awesome, I love this, man. So you just come here, you order online, pick your own eggs. Just got back in the car, have to drive into the farm. We're gonna go around the house, and I think they already started the barbecue, so we're gonna get to that first, and then we're gonna go see the chickens. We're gonna go pick some eggs. This is gonna be awesome, I can't wait. Hey, David, un cantado. ¿Cómo estás? Listo, mi pana. Estamos listos. Mi pana aquí, Venezuela. Torazuela, aquí estamos. So, ¿qué estamos haciendo aquí? Un poco de carne. Estamos un poco de, haciendo un poco de carne para al estilo llanero venezolano. So, we're gonna taste some of our cracker cattle beef. This is a Florida cracker beef raised in Miami, um, fully grass fed with nothing but grass, hay, and water. So you taste the difference of what the soil provides and there's just no additives. And uh, these cattle, they're actually descendants of the Spanish cattle that Ponce de Leon brought over. So these are registered purebred cracker. I don't think I've ever tried this cattle before. Never tried this beef. So we have a cut right here and we also have it already on a skewer. So right here we have a shoulder, right? Yeah. I love the shoulder. For me, it's great. Like the Denver. Our buddy here from Venezuela, he told me that they actually like the, the tougher kinds of meats, like shoulders, because uh, it's like slow roasted. So it'll break down all the fat. And uh, I asked him to do a brisket, but he said, no, they don't do that in Venezuela. No, we don't do that Texas style stuff. Yeah. No. <laughs> and right now he's preparing the chicken. As you can see, small chicken, that's how all your chickens are, right? Very small. Yeah. And you stuffed it with garlic cloves, onion, uh, salt, you put a lot of rock salt inside. He also put rock salt all over it, some uh, lime, and that's it, right? Yep. Very simple. Simple. Organic. Yeah. And now you're going to put it on the skewer? Yeah, we're going to stick it in. Hey David, we have about an hour or two to go while the meat is cooking. Let's go explore the farm and do some chores. Some chores, huh? Putting me to work today. Well, what are you grabbing there? <laughs> this is the organic, uh, soy-free chicken feed. Uh, organic corn, organic alfalfa, sunflower, kelp meal. This is the good stuff. So this is what you feed the chicken? You get a lot of their nutrition from pasture, from bugs, from grass. But this is just to make sure they keep growing. Love this. Yeah, I started this when my son was born and I was looking for good quality meat. And I just couldn't find it in the store. So I was like, why not raise it? Looked at YouTube videos and read books and started it. Yeah. YouTube, the best education. I learned everything I know about filmmaking. The farm is located on the other side of the turnpike next to Doral. So literally Doral is right over this turnpike. That's like all developed. Over here we have farmland. Incredible. And after this, it's all Everglades, right? Just glades. Yeah. Pythons, alligators, everything. We gotta protect these chickens from. All right, so these are pasture-raised uh, meat chickens. So we actually move them to fresh grass every single day. If you look down this line, you could see yesterday's poop and what they ate. 
and then before yesterday and so on if you go a week back it's not even brown anymore it's already starting to green up and uh, grow more lush you know because of all the nitrogen that they're inputting into the soil so it's like a, a sustainable actually regenerative system because we're putting back in so we put these tires on yeah he was saying as soon as he moves it they're gonna start like seeing the bugs come out and they're just gonna start eating just going ham on it Oh, oh, there they go, there they go. You know, I've been to a lot of farms, I've never seen this before. No? The chicken tractor? No, first time. I love it though, I mean, it's a good process, right? So they, you know, they eat the soil, the soil regenerates, and it keeps going over and over. So every single day you move them, right? Just every day. Joel Salatin in Virginia uh, with Polyface Farms, he started doing this about 30 years ago when nobody knew about pasture-raised chickens. Everybody had big uh, production houses, but he started doing it on pasture. And then he didn't have to give me give him any medication, any antibiotics. So we're just following what he's been doing. You know, no steroids, no fake food here. This is just grass-fed. Well, grass-fed, no. I mean, they eat basically the stuff that comes out of the, the ground, right? They're omnivores, so they're like us. They have one stomach. Uh, so they like to eat bugs. They'll eat worms, uh, grass, and grain. Uh, not like the cows. The cows are herbivores, so they have four stomachs, so they ferment grass, and they can extract all the nutrients from grass through the bacteria in their stomachs. What is this for? This is uh, to stop the raccoons from eating our chickens. We have raccoons. We have foxes. We have uh, Burmese python. We have rock python. What else we got? Possums. Uh, coyotes everything you name it it's the Florida Everglades so a lot of predators and what he does is he puts this electrical line so once they get close they get shocked right that's the problem with having livestock here in South Florida so many predators I have tortoises we always have to fend off the possums and the foxes because they always try to get in there especially for the babies and that's solar powered electric fence oh, what an experience love the farm farm life is amazing but right now it's June it is smoking hot, it's 10 in the morning, easy to 95 degrees, but I love it. So it's gravity fed. Uh, we have a water tank up on a container. So we have a, a garden hose coming all the way down here. And then it's just gravity fed into their drinking cups. So they're constantly getting fresh cold water. So we fed all the chickens. They eat the bugs and they eat the supplement, right? Woo, they just go ham on it, they don't stop. He said like, he fills it up every single day to the rim. The next day it's empty. They just keep eating and eating and eating, and it's gonna be so tasty. This is the chicken we're eating, right? <laughs> it's gonna be yummy, yummy chicken. Oh, we had a, a Burmese python attack about a week ago, and I ate five chickens, uh, sadly. But we reported it to Florida Fish and Wildlife, uh, and we got one. Uh, but let's go show the, the remains. Because they are invasive species, we're allowed to kill them, right? We're allowed to get rid of them. There's a bounty. Uh, this one's like a seven footer. Hold your breath. <laughs> I mean, he basically decomposed in one week and you can see the chicken bones. So that's all the chickens he ate. And you can see his spinal cord. It's out of here though. Ugh. So what's next? Eggs? We're gonna pick some fresh eggs and eat them raw. Hey, that's the best. <laughs> I know somebody who eats four eggs every single day raw. So it's the best thing for his system. Oh man, look at that. That meat. Mmm, the chicken looks, well, not ready yet, but Wow, the juice is just falling off this meat. It smells good. Cracker cattle. I don't think I've ever seen this before because they look just like small veal or small yeah. cattle, right? Yeah, but they're fully grown. I mean, they're 18 months old and they're about eight months pregnant, so they're about to calf. That's why they're so startled. They don't want me to get close. Yeah. They're like so, running away. If you think about uh, Texas Longhorn, uh, this is the Florida version of that because okay. they, they were wild for 300 years when they escaped uh, Ponce de Leon's ship and uh, they just roamed through Florida for 300 years and the, the smallest ones adapted well to the Florida climate and, and our grasses. Wow. So these are their descendants and uh, they're purebred Florida crackers. It's amazing. I've never seen this before. I've been to many farms in Florida but I've never seen these guys. Beautiful. Can't wait to eat them though. Yeah. <laughs> So the chickens were here two months ago and you can see how lush and green it, it, this pasture is. Pretty amazing, it's so high though because this year has been very, like it's been a drought in a way, you know? Yeah. We haven't gotten so much rain. Oh, man, 
big property, 10 acres. So you guys keep moving. They keep moving the chickens, keep moving the cows. They never stay in the same spot for more than how long? Or especially the cows. The cows are three days. And then they move to another spot. Yes. So they never repeat the same location yes. until 60 days later. Exactly. And you have all this electrical fence everywhere. Yeah. So over here is the hens. Yep. Here's the hens. So you turn off the wire and they all came out running. Yeah. Because they know you're bringing food, right? Yeah. That's what they're expecting. Two weeks. So they're laying hens and we give them a lot more space. So they, they roam around and then we'll move the whole thing, all the netting in every two weeks. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Never seen this before. This is a mobile egg laying coop and we move it every two weeks to a fresh pasture with the netting. And, but we come in here every day and we pick the eggs. So this is called a roll away nest box. So when they lay, the egg will automatically roll down this side. And then we come here every day, pick it fresh, and then it goes straight to our customers. Fortunately, sometimes the hens escape and the eggs hatch. That's what we have right there. All right. This is a blue egg. Mmm. Man, that egg yolk. <sighs> My turn, right? So. Alright, so open okay. this beautiful thing up. Yeah. Then. Oh wow. You taste that yolk, man. Incredible. I mean, so fresh. It's almost like a slimy water. Yeah. You know? Okay. That was good, dude. It's like a shot of uh, protein, man. Exactly, and, and exactly. I mean, it gives you energy for sure. Yeah. And they're like all around me now. <laughs> What's happening? First time trying raw eggs at a farm. And I gotta say, it's the only way you should ever eat raw eggs is from the farm because you have to know exactly where it's from. You don't want to have any diseases, salmonella. Yeah. All that stuff, right? Yeah, nothing store bought. You got to get it directly from the hen. Directly from the hen. Obviously, it was laid last night or this morning, and we're eating it right now. Wow. I mean, it's so different from eating eggs. That is just like pure protein. It's like nature's Red Bull. It's a good one. It's a good Shot, one. Man. It's a good one. A lot of electrical fences here, so you have to really be careful. We're going completely under like that. It's not so bad. He was saying it's like an electrical shock, like a little static. <laughs> Hermano, listo. listo. Yeah, almost. Yeah, casi listo. Almost done. Right here we have some Florida kombucha, fermented fruit. So right here we have infused with orange and vanilla and oak age. It's basically like sparkling fruit. Yeah. Wow. It's like almost like a fruit soda. Oh, it's so good. Florida, right? We're always Florida dreaming here. Yeah. Hey, La Florida, la mejor. <laughs> the beef and the chicken are ready. We are gonna eat this feast. I am excited. Listo, Juan. Yeah, we're ready. Directly from the knife to my mouth. Oh my God. Mm. Oh man, the shoulder is so tender. Mmm, nice, perfect salt, man. Perfecto, otro. Wow, give me more. Mmm, you know how charred it is on the outside? What's up? Mm-hmm, this is so good. This is delicious. Wow, the salt just cracks. Brazilian will judge the Venezuelan barbecue. Almost as good as Brazilian. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a little different than the Chow style. That's like 12 hours there, you know? This is a little different, two hours. Still perfect, juicy, tender. Man, I just love the amount of salt. I can go like crazy salt. I'm a big salt guy. Yeah. No, especially like in Polo Chow, Curitiba. Down there, it was like crazy All salt. salt man. Dude, it's like, you can't take a bite without like a few rocks in there, you know? Yeah. Oh man, I'll take another piece. I, oh, I love fat. This is a little piece of fat. Right. A little piece. Mm -hmm. mm. That's the best piece right there. Yeah. Because the fat, you have the outside layer, it's a little charred, yeah, salt, man. everything. And you have to know how to cook a shoulder because a shoulder is a tough piece where they're walking on it all the time. So you have to have skills to make this yummy. And tender. Shoulder is softer than the front ones. You know, the, all, the, all the ways on the front, right? if, you, if you use the, 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 rear, the rear part, it's a little bit more tender. Five to ten. It's a twelve for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. All right. So the, the, the reason that we put a lot of salt on it 
is because we we used to eat this with something we call cassava. It's yuca, so it is white, and we we boil it. So the yuca it has a little compensation of the meat salt. So you compensate the salt with the yuca. That's why we do it that way. You have to try this one. This one, this one is a, is, a, is a actually a, like a loin. It's like a loin. It's like mm -hmm. a sear loin. It's mm -hmm. like a sear loin. Yeah. This Less one fat. Yep. It's like a twelve right there. <laughs> that's crazy good. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're missing the cassava, right? Yuca cassava. If you guys don't know, that's a root vegetable. Latin America, huge in Venezuela, Colombia, Ecuador, etc. But in Brazil, it's. Mangioca. <laughs> mangioca. Sounds like trilingual. Uh, uh, mangioca. <laughs> mangioca. In Brazil, they use a lot of uh, so cassava flour on everything, right? That's what they use. Yeah. And I didn't know that yuca and cassava were exactly the same thing until I yeah. learned. Cassava and, and this carne and vara. It tastes perfect combination. Could do this all day. So this one, I can, I can just. So it's 100% sirloin? That little piece. That little piece. It can, it can Every time I eat, I want more. <laughs> when it's burned like that, try that. Mm -hmm. it's, it's crunchy. I actually like it when it's burned a little bit. Yeah. Like, some people like the blood, some people like that. Incredible. <laughs> Mi patria. <laughs> I literally took the chicken off the skewer and it fell apart. Oh man. It's gonna be good. It's still very juicy. I can see it. Juice is coming out. Mmm. This is my favorite part. It's all juicy. Mm. You raised it. Thank you, chickens, for giving your life to provide nutrition for me. Love the wings. Lots of flavor. Mm -hmm. but I like it because you get the skin, you get the meat. Yeah. Mm. And organic, even more than organic. It's like the most organic you can get. Their wing. The wing's the best. Oh, look at that. You need high heat with that? Mm-hmm. Uh, never, never. Yes. No, I mean, oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Crackers. Where's the crackers? Okay, crackers. You had in there. Look at this. Get in here. Get some of that meat. Yeah. This. Some of that skin. Farm the table? Yeah. Nothing like it. Mmm. Raised here. Butchered here. Hermano. Gracias. Gracias a ustedes. A la carne. Estamos a la orden en carne en Barra, Miami. He has a restaurant here in Miami. He has a few in Orlando as well, right? Two in Orlando. So if you want some incredible, delicious meat, Venezuelan style, go there. I am stuffed, had so much meat, lots of chicken. And now I'm putting together my own dozen eggs to take home. I'm here with Tammy. She's Mateus's partner's wife. Yes. <laughs> right? And what do we have? I mean, it's a big variety here. Yeah, we've got all kinds of different. We have a. Uh, some just blue and green. We have all kinds of variations. Of, it's just a type of chicken. And this one's Pink like tiny. Ones. Yeah. It's almost like a quail egg. Well, I mean, it's like almost, double the size. Like the green ones, they are just, they just in general lay smaller oh, eggs, you know? Mm -hmm. And they're green. And then the little tiny ones are just younger chickens that are laid this yeah, small. Cool. What a beautiful day. That was Soul City Farm right outside of Doral, Florida. Incredible spot. Dude, thank you so much for the experience. We went around, we saw the chickens, we picked some eggs. I ate a uh, basically a fresh egg straight from there blue egg delicious incredible feeling seeing the cows you know these are cracker cows or cracker cattle right, right. Florida crackers indigenous to Florida now they've been basically you know grazing the fields for 300 years you know they don't want to mix this breed right so that's the main thing to keep the yeah. breed pure right. right and then we had a Venezuelan barbecue big thanks to our friend here yeah Juan. carne and vada carne and vada incredible delicious food and dude thank you so much so people can come here saturday's appointment only and they can get eggs right right we have a pick your own eggs experience on saturdays you just sign up on our website by appointment only and you'll come here you'll pick your own fresh eggs put it in the in the carton and take it home you'll meet the chickens uh the meat chickens you'll meet the cattle you meet you'll have a, a nice tour of soul city farms exactly. and you can see where your food can come from uh it's not just in the store with some fancy labels you can see actually how the animals are raised exactly and if you're not gonna be able to come here on a Saturday you can still order the eggs online pick them up right in the front in the fridge and that's it right yeah it's a self-service system so we'll send you a one-time code 
you open the cage and you'll pick up your order. Don't take anybody else's though. Yeah. <laughs> it's an honor system. Honor system. <laughs> well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Miami. Mateus, obrigado. Obrigado. No, no, thank you so much, dude. Amazing. All right, let's get some more meat. All right. Here. No. <laughs> <laughs>